The first few moments of the heinous, calculated attack. Many ran in panic. One small group tried to crouch behind a metal pillar, desperately hoping it and a few tables would shield them. This video was taken by Kirill Smolyaninov, who went to the concert to film the rock band and found himself fleeing for his life. He told us in a phone call from Moscow that he thought there were five or six gunmen. The Russian officials say there were four, and they set fire to the hall. More than 130 people were killed. Many of the victims were trapped inside the inferno as the roof collapsed. Sunday was declared a national day of mourning across Russia. Outside the hall, a growing memorial. It was a big shot because I live nearby and I saw it from my windows. It's, uh, it's horrific. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack, which U.S. officials have confirmed. Russia says it's detained 11 suspects. Four appeared in court Sunday all visibly injured, including one who had to be carried in. But in an address to the country on Saturday, President Vladimir Putin didn't mention ISIS. Instead, he suggested that the four shooters were arrested as they were on their way to Ukraine. Putin being the talented tactician that he is, he's trying to spin this to his own purposes. To his this own Russia own expert says Russia Putin has Russia made security a pillar of his presidency, but publicly dismissed alerts from the U.S. warning about a potential attack. The Russian government was foolish not to believe uh, those warnings or perhaps not to take any action and instead, uh, you know, focus all of their uh, attention on uh, coping with uh, political dissidents. Ukraine has denied any involvement. President Volodymyr Zelensky said Russia was simply looking for someone else to blame. And Breyer, there are some details emerging about the suspects. Yes, Erica, all four of them were brought into court tonight, including a 19-year-old who was strapped into a medical chair and it appeared that he was unconscious. Russia says they are all foreign nationals and there are reports that at least a few of them are from Tajikistan, but there's a lot we don't know about the suspects and about how Russia tracked them down. Thanks for this. Briar Stewart reporting from London.